Born in Portland, Oregon in 1934. He has one brother and one sister. I know that he was drafted in the 50s. Got married the night before I went into CERT, active duty. Got married January 14th of uh, 1957. I was a yeoman, basically just doing uh, typing and uh, taking care of uh, service records. So I was on board ship, I did the uh, ship's log. I didn't care where I went. I didn't have any clue at that time what I was getting into. And uh, of course it was still dark. They said which way to face. One was right within the lagoon, where underwater shot. That was called Umbrella. That was uh, left a crater 20 foot deep and 300 feet wide. That was underwater. It just the ship looks like a small little item down there. We had to sign that secrets uh, statement. I don't think most of us had any clue. We slept in tents, and I just had my towel hanging up in the corner. I, was, I reached up to get my towel, and here's a big black crab hanging right up in the corner, right by my towel. I must have yelled or something. Guy stuck his head in, the, in there. What's the matter? I said, what's that up there? All right. I said, here's a big crab. Oh, boy, I want to. He grabbed that. He said, I'm going to cook that tonight for dinner. Well, I don't know how many of those he ate while I was there. Can't imagine he's still living. Beans are still radioactive now. We never had any advance notice about, you know, safety. Uh, I never thought about it. They all, you know, they always said, well, this is safe, you don't have to worry. And well, you know, you take for granted that they know what they're talking about. And I don't think anybody knew at that time what they're dealing with. Uh, so I witnessed at least 13 See, I was probably about 30 when I first started to hear about my dad's career in the Navy. Um, but it was probably still a few years before I really realized that he saw, you know, 13 different atomic bombs go off. But that's always been a thing of contention, how much radiation we got. You know, we're not too sure they were really keeping track of it. and how honest they were. You know, it took many, many years to finally just get health care. And uh, they make study after study after study of, you know, radiation and all that by the government. And I, I don't know how much money has been spent by the government. A lot of people don't even realize we have an organization, national organization called the uh, NAV, which stands for National Association of Atomic Veterans. They have no clue there's even a group that they can join. And of course, now we're taking in people involved with nuclear subs and also people in that were at, uh, over in the Middle East with the depleted uranium in the shells. Yeah, there's definitely times where he comes into the store, which is pretty much every day, um, and says, you know, you need to go home and spend a few minutes with your kids and hang out and learn what they're up to. My dad is definitely somebody that I would look up to. He's just an honest, down-to-earth guy that would do anything for his friends. <laughs>